Okay, folks, so we are going to be looking at um, our Northern Lights project using soft pastels today. Uh, the materials that you're going to need is you're going to need some black or very dark paper. You will also need soft pastels, which are also known as chalk pastels, or even just sidewalk chalk or regular chalk will work just fine. And you're also just going to need some scrap paper, uh, scissors, and uh, uh, some white tempera paint. This step is not 100% necessary, but it does definitely make the silhouette um, of your picture show up a lot better, which you will see what I mean at the end of this project. So the first thing I'm going to do is I just need to, I'm going to cover my black paper just to protect it and keep it safe. I need to take some scrap paper and just rip the paper, and I want to make them very wavy lines and shapes, like very organic because this is going to be the shape of our northern lights, this shape of the paper, okay? And once you have your paper ripped, you're going to be picking colors of your soft pastels, and um, it's best to stick with very bright colors, things that'll show up really well on, um, on your black paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this light blue. I'm coloring, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm coloring with my soft pastel, on my scrap paper so that it doesn't transfer to my black paper. I want to keep that protected. And you're just going to start by your by coloring the edge of your torn paper. Don't blow all that excess dust off. We want to keep that on there actually. That's, uh, we want some of that excess, excess dust. So continue coloring using um, a variety of colors in your soft pastels. Um, I'm just going with some greens and blues Maybe I'll add some white in there too. You know, white will be tough to see on your scrap paper, but it'll show up beautifully um, on your black paper. So I'm just going to continue across my torn edge. Carefully move it to the side a little bit. Keep coloring across my torn edge using the colors that I choose. So now, once you have your soft pastel on the edge of your ripped paper, very carefully, Expose your black paper and what you're going to do is you're going to set that down where you want your northern lights to start. And you're going to just take your finger and you are going to smudge that color upwards. Um, you want to continue doing an upwards motion because the northern lights uh, go up and down. When we see them in the sky, the northern lights travel up and down in almost like a curtain form. And then once you have gone all the way down your scrap paper, making sure to push nice and hard to blend those colors up, it's time to reveal. Oh, isn't that just amazing looking? And if you have any dust like this left on there, don't wipe it away. You want to pick your paper up, shake it off, and then go ahead and put it back down, okay? And we have this nice, beautiful, crisp, clean line that's left on there. And you're going to want to do this um, several times over. And I'm going to go ahead, and you might want to rip. If we keep doing the same piece, our northern lights are going to look a little repetitive. So it's a good idea to rip a new piece of paper every time you do it. That way you don't have the same pattern. So I'm going to um, go ahead and pause the recording and do a couple more lines, and we'll come back in just a second. Okay, and so we are back with um, our layers of um, northern lights that we have done. Um, I also have taken the moment to spray this with a workable fixative. Um, if you don't have fixative, that's okay. Hairspray, any kind of hairspray that shh, like that will work just fine to help keep the chalk from smearing. And you can see it doesn't, um, now it won't smear. If we went to spray it, we would have been, uh, have to worry about um, overspray or uh, not overspray, but smearing our paper, uh, our, sorry, our northern lights. Okay, so uh, the next step is to cut out a design that you would like to use as a silhouette. Um, this is going to be, uh, we're going to splatter paint our picture with white uh, uh, tempera paint and this is going to protect the black paper. So when we pull this up, there's going to be a silhouette left. You can do anything you'd like for your silhouette. It doesn't have to be something as basic as mountains, but I thought for this one um, demonstration, something easy would be best. 
you don't have to, but you can tape it into place to keep it secure. And make sure, because we are going to be splatter painting, you um, have something to protect around your, uh, your workspace. Um, you don't want to be getting paint all over the place if you have a, <laughs> a shared workspace or anything. So I'm going to take and put some things down to kind of protect, oops, sorry, camera movement, to protect um, our workspace, okay? So I'm just using the very basic uh, white tempera paint where, and that way you'll, and a stiff, um, stiff bristle brush. A toothbrush will work, but you want something with stiff bristles so that you can flick like this. So I'm just gonna take some water, add it to my white acrylic paint, and you want it to be pretty watered down. You want it to be relatively watery. You don't want it really thick. If you're using paint right out of the bottle, you are going to wanna water it down a bit. And then we're just gonna take Focusing around where our paper, our mountains are at, flick. You want to focus most of your, your stars in that area because that is the area that is going to um, have our silhouette. So if you um, don't flick enough paint to make it look like stars down at the bottom, you're not going to get the silhouette effect. And um, up at the top, I tend to leave that pretty much untouched, uh, just a little bit of flicks here and there. So let's go ahead and reveal our silhouette. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? That turned out so nicely. So obviously this is a very simple and basic version of this, but um, you can uh, challenge yourself a little bit. Go big, tall, make lots of northern lights and do ag constellations. Um, you can challenge yourself with making the silhouette very complicated. So please um, enjoy this uh, project and I hope that you made sure to watch the video on uh, Finnish folklore on where northern lights come from. Thank you.